So what art means to me, um, it's definitely a gateway. Um, you know, it's, it, I mean, it, it all started with a Sharpie and a piece of paper. Um, and, and it was just a, seeing a blank canvas and all the emotions that I had when I was younger, I, I had no way of expressing myself. So it was my release. Um, I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't put myself on anyone else. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't a fighter or anything like that, but I, there was so much stuff inside of me that I needed to get out and pencil, Sharpie and a piece of paper was the easy way for me to do it. Um, when I was a kid, I was, I was like the stereotypical, you know, overweight black kid with no dad, you know, like there was a lot of stuff that was, um, not wrong with me, but you know, there's just, there was a, there was a lot that I'd, I'd have to go through and I wasn't necessarily bullied, but I was the odd man out. And back then I honestly thought I was the only kid on earth without a father. And I was, I, I was young, you know, and I thought no one else knows what I'm going through. There's no one that I can talk to. Or converse with because they won't understand what I'm going through uh, and they might not care um, so th the whole thing about um, about like my let's say evolution was it all started with a white piece of paper and a sharpie um, and I, I get bored of things extremely quick so I, I had to have drawn over like 300 pictures um, that I actually kept I, I probably drew more than that but I'm when it comes to critiquing stuff, I don't like it, I'll throw it away. So I probably drew at least 300 to set pictures that I was satisfied with and turned that into like a mini portfolio. Not to really show, you know, anyone professional, just to be able to say, look what I got accomplished. Um, and after, it just got extremely boring, you know, drawing on paper, it got repetitive. So I needed a new canvas um, and that's when I, saw Starbucks cups, well, not, not just like Starbucks cups, just cups in general. Um, and I remember once I was sitting at Starbucks, and this is a true story, and there was a girl that was sitting in front of me, and she was, you know, she was just beautiful. She was, she was the perfect woman, you know, in my definition. Um, and I needed her to notice me, because I knew that I was abstract, and I knew that not to be talking, but I knew I was worth looking at, you know, because I, I was like, there's something that me and you both have, you know, that can be used to make something awesome. So, I, t I was looking around, I had my Sharpies and I had paper, but I was like, she's not gonna be able to see the paper because it's like flat on the table. So I grabbed one of the Starbucks cups that I was drinking and I started drawing on it. And when I was halfway done with the cup, her boyfriend walked out the bathroom and he picked her up and he took her, you know, he like took her home, or wherever they went. But I was so into the cup that I didn't pay attention that she'd left, you know, that she had left. And I just kept going, I kept going. And by the time that I was finished, I looked up and there was some old lady sitting there. And I was like, you know what? She might be impressed with my stuff too. So I just, that's, that's how the whole Starbucks cup thing started. Um, but then again, I got bored with just drawing on Starbucks cups. And I was like, there is, I know that there's something more this isn't it. And that's when I, you know, I, I got the idea to make them into candles. And to watch my work just illuminate, you know, in the nighttime was some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen in my life. I never got bored with the candles really. It was it was just how can I take my artwork to help someone else? Um because I'm big on help. I'm big, I mean I'm just big on a lot of people are big on helping people, but I'm extremely big on helping people. Because I think that's the only way our, our world can properly function is if we're uplifting someone else to uplift someone else, make that whole chain, chain thing. Uh, so my teacher, Melanie Stillings, tells me, Josh, I'm going to buy a pair of toms and you're going to decorate them. And I'm thinking, okay, that actually sounds pretty cool. I've never seen anyone design shoes before. So she buys a pair of toms and I did hers and she said, you know, when I was finished, which took me like two days because I was so dedicated. She said, these are absolutely amazing. So we got the idea, well, I, you know, like a group, me and a group of my friends got the idea to do, you know, we, we wanted to form a, you know, we design shoes and all the money goes towards people who don't eat, you know, who like don't get as much food as they should. 
And after a while, we thought that even though there are people who aren't, you know, who are starving, that's, there are so many of those, you know, organizations in Mansfield, there has to be something else that we can touch. And that's when we came up with the whole anti-bullying campaign. Um, and which is ironic because like I said, I wasn't necessarily bullied, but you know, I got the effects of it. My friends were bullied, uh, pretty harsh, you know, or harshly, I don't know if it's a word, but they were, they were bullied pretty harsh. And we thought this is perfect because we can touch every aspect with the artwork that we're doing. So we built a team and we call ourselves Young Minds. And what we do is we design toms, uh, vans and Converse, and all the money goes towards, you know, an anti-bullying campaign that we're actually putting together. Where we go from elementary school to elementary school, uh, explaining to kids, you know, the, uh, just the, the, the down, you know, the downsides and, you know, the wrong effects of bullying, or just the effects of bullying. And it's not what it used to be. It's not pulling a girl's hair anymore, you know? Like, people are killing themselves. Uh, and if my artwork, or if, like any, any one of my talents can help, you know, not maybe not help stop a bully, but can spark the mind of someone else to stop a bully, then I'm, once again, I'm satisfied. And I feel like I've completed something. So imagine if I can do that to not one person, but millions of people. And that's kind of what our organization is about. Um, but it all, it all originated from this Sharpie and that blank piece of paper. That was the origin, that was the genesis. And uh, we're just waiting to see what it manifests into.